everyone. I don't want to assume that all of you are familiar with MacBook Pros. And so we're going to do a quick overview for those of you who might not be. In front of you, you have a 13 inch MacBook Pro and it has the iMovie software on it that we're going to use. The computer might be assigned to you alone or to you and a partner. Either way, next to your keyboard on the top right is a small circular button that will turn on your computer. We'll have each of you turn it on in a second. Each machine has a login and password taped onto a piece of paper um, next to your keyboard. So find that tape piece of paper uh, to know what your password and your login is. Okay, so you found the piece of paper. Go ahead and turn your computer on. So all the computers you'll notice are fully charged. Well, how do you know that they're fully charged and you don't need to plug in your computer? There's a battery picture or what I call an icon located at the top of your screen. If the battery is fully black, then the battery is fully charged. And if it's almost entirely empty, then your battery power is almost zero and you'll need to plug in your computer to recharge. So keep an eye on that from time to time. Another thing you'll notice on your desktop is the dock. And this bar right here is the dock. You can control where you place the dock on your desktop. My dock is on the bottom of my laptop here, but I usually like it on the side. So in later videos, you'll likely see my dock in different places. The more important question is, what does the dock do? Well, it holds pictures or icons that you can click on to open various software programs. I can also add or delete icons too. And you should know that you're able to do that and personalize your own dock. We are not going to do that in this class, but know that you can do that. The purpose, the real purpose of the dock is to help you work fast and it puts access to software programs right on your desktop, right when you open your Mac. Another thing that you'll notice is that we're not using a mouse. Instead, we have a trackpad just underneath our keyboard, and that's that re rectangular square. With the trackpad, you can control and direct the cursor or arrow on your screen. Go ahead, if you're unfamiliar with the trackpad, and drag the pointer finger of your dominant hand around on it. You'll see that it tracks your finger. You can activate your cursor or the arrow by pressing down on the trackpad. There's actually a lot of gestures you can learn um, to manipulate your trackpad, and um, that's a story for another day. So next, really quickly, let's take a look at the sides of your computer. And what you'll find there are the ports or the connections. The first port is the MagSafe port for power, a power cord. Then an Ethernet cord can be connected in the next port to connect to the internet. Then there's FireWire, connects to things like cameras or video cameras. After that is Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt's proprietary, meaning that only Apple products use Thunderbolt and they allow very fast connections. Following that is USB ports to connect to things like hard drives. And then there is an SD card reader for things like memory cards that you can use in cameras and video cameras, or you can capture music. And finally, a headphone jack. On the other side, there's a port for a drive, a super drive, uh, for things like a DVD, uh, with a movie or music, and there's a little port for a lock as well, if you have one. So we're going to take a break here, and I'd like to know what have you learned so far. Mm -hmm.